All right, so in this video, we're going to discuss the process of fairing the fiberglass mold and bringing it up to finish where we can release coat it and lay up the part. This is the tail end of the glass, just getting it as nice as possible. And here I've applied a layer by spraying first um, of All Grip High Build Primer. And now I'm going back over that and squeegeeing in some more hot build to try and fill pinholes. And after that's cured, I come back with some 60 grit on a hard board and give the whole thing a pretty heavy sand. You can see the surface is kind of nasty and uh, there's a lot of drips and stuff from the squeegeeing process. And after a good sand, the joint where the, the front and back meet up is uh, eh, okay. Um, and there's a lot of epoxy drips burned through at the back end uh, where the peel ply folded over and where there's some thick bits of epoxy. You can see those in there. And I'm just working this really hard with some fairly heavy sandpaper to get it as flat as possible, uh, sort of globally fair. And these are some blocks uh, I 3D printed. And before putting on the first coat of the, the real primer, I'm going to give this a pretty aggressive fill with uh, vinyl ester putty. And after that first shot of All Grip 545 primer, which is an epoxy primer, um, I'm using this because I had it around. Uh, I'm giving it all a coat of uh, dichem mixed with alcohol, which will dry into a blue, just a, a guide coat for sanding. Helps you see where you've been. And these are some 3D printed sanding blocks I made based on the shapes of the curved bits of the part. Um, trying to sand the thing with something that is the shape I want the part to become. But in the big open areas, uh, at least initially, a heavy board with some 60, then 80 grit uh, really works down the uh, ripples and bumps and things. And uh, the idea is to get it, first get it fair, then get it smooth. Um, and this is the fairing part. So the die cam's helping out, working that little hook in the back trailing edge um, here to try and get that nice. A lot of this is artwork. Um, you know, tolerance is sort of uh, plus or minus a, a millimeter or two um, on this part. The most important part is that it look nice and be fair um, when it comes out of the mold and that we don't have to do too much high build or painting um, on the finished part because we wanna, want to be quite light. And um, that joint still giving me some trouble there. See some of the die cam. I'll go back and give this a fill, um, working out that piece, that area down in the bottom. And give it another coat of the All Grip Primer, this one full gray. Um, I think the first one was mixed half and half with white. And um, working on the inside of this uh, compound curved nose area, it's probably the hardest part. And then um, trying to make sure that the strips don't print. Um, I actually went back and epoxy coated the outside because the moisture was affecting the strips uh, and making them print through onto the surface. Um, that helped a little bit. I went back another coat. Um, now we're closing in on it. And more die cam. Now I'm working with much finer sandpaper fairness is there, really going for smooth and um, not having a lot of pinholes or any surface defects like that that print into the finished part. Um, spending a lot of time on that joint between the, the machine nose part and the strip planked uh, main body of it, making sure that joint is nice. It's a uh, strange sort of fairness there. Um, came out of the computer model. and. It's uh, a little bit of a hassle to get it nice. I'm using uh, another board here. Well, it's just a sheet of Lexan or acrylic uh, with some sandpaper on it. And this is nice to, because it conforms and fares the inside curvature uh, across the strips. And I mentioned earlier the strips printing through. Um, you just get little longitudinal wrinkles in the part. So this helps a lot. Uh, sanding the high spots 
uh, letting the low spot stay full of primer. Went over this whole thing this way, and it, it, uh, it made a pretty good difference. Um, then coming back with a final coat of 320, final round of 320 grit sandpaper, I uh, gave it another die chem wipe uh, just to make sure I was getting everything. And then wiped it all down and with some of this Rexco high temp paste wax um, after the mold was all clean I gave it three coats of this. Uh, it's quite a labor intensive process. Um, I taped off the outside edge where the sealant tape is going to go because I didn't want to get paste wax on there. And um, you can see a few places down in the part where there's some primer burnt through. Um, if I were being really fussy, I would have gone back and primed those again. But in this case, we didn't have much time and um, really just trying to get it done. As it was, a fair amount of primer went on this uh, and an awful lot of sanding. So the thing with the paste wax, to put it on in manageable size areas um, and work it in, really wipe it off, buff it down. So there's no glossy sort of smeary residue on the part. Uh, if you don't rub it in quickly, um, it'll harden and then it's really difficult to deal with. So this took a while, a lot of patience, half an hour between coats. And um, then we're ready to come back and start laminating the part.